we're here. Can you believe it, fellas? What a journey. What a journey. It's it's been a hell of a time trying to get to trying to get to the finish of this. Uh, I remember when you and me started this with Quinn back when I lived uh, at the previous place. God, that's that's scary to think about. And then of course bringing Nick into the fold as well with us once we got caught up and everything. And uh, yeah, this has been a hell of a time. And now, here we are at the end of the road. For now. Whenever Season 5 starts, hopefully we can get right back into this. But, sheesh. I There's so many unresolved plot threads. You know, Evil Morty, uh, friggin'... I really want them to touch on Evil Morty again, but uh, I know it's probably unlikely. Yeah. Also, um, the, the fate of Other Beth. You know, if Other Beth was actually... You know, if the one Beth that we know is a clone who is completely unaware, or if something else happened, there's so many there's so many plots that have come up in the past that have been touched on again here and there and now again. I'm wondering if we're going to run into that in this episode. I mean, this is the finale, so <clears throat> we may have something completely new thrown at us, or we're probably going to get some stuff resolved for us, or continued at least. But... Yeah, I I just want to see what's going to happen, so this is Rick and Morty, Season 4, Episode 10. Here we go. My name is Beth Smith. Tell your top bugs the defiance is on. Blade Smith. Beth Smith. Beth, Beth, Beth Smith. Okay, God, this is just such a plain... I'm trying to come up with a mnemonic advice. You can connect it to not dying. I know, I know. You think that would sear it right in, but it just speaks to the sheer forgettability. I'm starting to... Congratulations to your government business <laughs> Damn it. Aerosol on attack. Maybe you need a break. Don't, don't you ever miss her? I don't have to miss it. I'm technically still there. My dad made a perfect clone of <laughs> There it is! <laughs> Holy shit! So if you, does it have like a proximity trigger device in its neck? Who cares? Are we done? Sure. Unless you want me to remove the proximity trigger device from your neck. Man, what if this is how you found out he never wanted you back? That he loved the clone more than you. How crazy! Oh that? Jesus! Crazy, of, of course, soul crushing for you. That's not true. They're totally addictive. I'm a terrible doctor. I actually have something for that too. You want some? Not addictive. Mm, I'm a great doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah. okay. Never get high on your own supply, there, homeboy. I kind of want her to team up with Evil Morty. Ooh. Oh God. Like Rogue Beth and Evil yeah. Morty. Dude. Maybe that's what they're setting up for. Maybe so. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is like, what you and the universe me. made me, Rick. Yep. For a fam- Dad? I love therapy. Oh, the therapy. The therapy, the therapy doctor, too. I am actually disintegrating. He grazed them. That's going to hurt in like 10 seconds. Thanks, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> you never let you use it. You never let me use it. <laughs> <laughs> you really piss off, Morty. What I'm hearing is that you think that's a bomb. <laughs> so does every Shit. engineer that's seen it. Engineer, the point of inventing is to make things that don't exist. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. No. No. Oh, God. <laughs> not to kill you. Why is she it? Why am I back with Jerry? I thought she was a copy of me. She is a copy of you. She ran back to that dingleberry. That's on you. Want to grab a drink? All the time. Good girl. <laughs> That's all she... Oh, my God. Beth. Ooh. Or Summer. Summer. Sorry. To catch a predator. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that was shared. State your terms. Give back the belt. You take the goggles. Go away. We trade in an hour. Deal. How do you like that, bitch? I liked it more than my old belt. Hi. Oh. Right. should have shared. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? Okay, I'm the one that made this possible. It's not a competition. Of course not. Just curious, though, if it were, would most wanted be first place? Wow. Everybody in the... Oh, shit. They're going to track down Beth. You mean Beth's clone. Right. Beth's clone. What did I say? It really was nice seeing you again. Sure to shower as one big group at the exact same time. <laughs> shower fire! Shower's on fire! Step aside, girls! I got this! 
Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Beth. Do you have psychic powers? Uh, yes. Are they strong powers? We're just looking for your mother. You can't, like, stop our hearts, can you? Uh, I can. Okay, we surrender. <laughs> Damn, they're stupid! <laughs> This is crazy. You're being crazy. They do it in therapy on TV. What TV gives British people prizes for baking, Jerry? Ooh. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! Tamia, ah, we've been over this. All I do is say hey. Smart guns, weightless human life, and the therapist. <laughs> No, it makes it a place I've rigged with a lot of voice activated escape contingencies. <clears throat> These are all good points. I need to take a long look at myself. Oh! <laughs> I don't discuss problems, I incinerate them. Everybody in my family, not the world. Jesus Wong, boundaries. <laughs> I'm better than this job. <laughs> Believing you, I want to talk to her. No, you don't. <laughs> Jerry, do something. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. How about I just blow my brains out, starting with hers? Okay, Wendy's. We love Wendy's. I, I think they even gave us some money. Drop it. They did. Don't Super Bowl. Everybody, shut up. You're all saying different. Shit. Shoot him. What? Just go with it, Jerry. Everybody, drop your guns, except for Jerry. In classic. <laughs> <clears throat> Good job, Morty. Why compete with whatever's going on here, you know? Oh! oh summer. You made me go to a wedding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's his reason? That first. Oh, am I not a non-threat now? Damn. <laughs> Rick's a fucking beast. What am I doing wrong? are closed. Morty, open the left one. I've got the right. Go. Cool. Died the way she lived, over-serialized. I'm gonna rescue your mom and her clone. <laughs> which you oh, I do not like the looks of this giant fight chamber. No. No! Go. Phoenix person. Third person? It is now Phoenix person. <laughs> you for them? You were right. What are they? I loved her. Really? Huh. Then can I suggest as an alternate name, crazy pussy whipped person? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Damn! Oh shit! <laughs> Damn! Because they're so tough. Tougher than the laser? Stupid. You're talking about it. You're right. <laughs> they got me. Hey, over here! Look at me! Did you just see a pantsless little boy run by? I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> Oh shit. Gross. Never thought this was how I died. We're nowhere near Venice. <laughs> Wait, where's her? <laughs> Went straight through him. I was told you were dead. That is absolutely not true. I'm more alive than I've ever been. <laughs> you are behaving rather strange. <laughs> oh my. Well, who's normal? Really? <laughs> oh boy. Well. I thought Jerry actually did something useful for once. Well, I guess it kind of did. It was a distraction Save at least. An off switch? Anyone with a decent arc. I want you to decide. What? For once in my life, I want you to decide, Dad. Do you want me to stay here and be part of your life, or do you want me to leave? Whoa. No. No. He he gave both of them to her. He gave both options. Shit, I'm a terrible father. At least I'm a pretty good friend. Looks like it's just you and me, buddy. Give you a little more time. Wow. Damn. Damn. Well, okay. That's a bit of a dark way to end that one. Because that's... You see... I was afraid that it would end on a little bit of a downer there because that's still the the thing. Rick has ma made so many bad choices. I don't think it's really possible for him to go back and re and you know.
fix things. I mean, he is, in As, fact, a terrible person. Given fact, yeah. I, God. Anyway, yeah, this that that was a bit of a downer, but eh, we'll we'll see if Jerry can't you know cheer us up with his stupidity. Let's see what happens. Ready to be seen again. <laughs> oh my God! Where did I go? Oh shit! Slow down! There's an invisible garbage truck in the road. Yeah, right. What did he say? I'm alive! I survived. Oh. I mean, when in Rome. Invisible garbage truck, Jerry. It's a new franchise. Sorry, I called you a bitch. It's a vocational term. It's not how I feel about you personally. What the? What, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call for a pickup. Let's go take out the trash. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Leave it to Jerry to ruin a completely like amazing thing and turn it into something terrible. Oh, well, that's part of Jerry's allure, I guess. So That was quite something. That yeah, was. That was a hell of a finale. I mean, Bird Person pretty much was whipping Rick's ass. Like They were pretty even, but... Phoenix Person. Phoenix Person, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Phoenix Person kind of just... Wreck, you know, was wrecking Rick's shit. And then, um, yeah. I mean, that was kind yeah. of a line, though, where he's like, I always wondered if we were to fight, who would win? And he's like, then you were always a terrible friend. Like, man. <laughs> well, that's, well, I don't wonder it, but peop, like, people actually, I remember someone asked you the other night, who did you think would win in a, like, like, who did you think would win in a fight? And I between all the renegades. Yeah, and, yeah, and it's just like, guys, come on! I I have no intention of fighting my friends no, in that's... any capacity. Like me and Chad had a little bit of a spat back in the day. Like we pushed each other and we were like we like wrestled around a room. But that was when we were that was when we were in nine o'clock club and we had a disagreement over like over like some dumb shit like who was a better rapper. And uh, gosh. But we eventually became like best friends, and it's it's pretty much the same like same deal here. I mean, you know, we intellectually disagree on some things, but we're not going to come to blows over it because there's much more important things to be pissed off about than some than some nonsense. Life's too short to be pissed off all the time. And honestly, if you're one like if you're wondering, it's like, yeah, my friends, I could totally whip my friends' asses. It's like. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's a bullshit mentality, and that's not healthy. That seems like a very strange thought process to have. Like, I, I don't know. I, to me, it's sort of like an alpha, like an alpha kind of mindset. It's just like, which of my friends would would be uh, would stand a chance? Because in uh, in the Sopranos, there was actually a, a scene where Tony, you know, Tony, who was like the boss, the toughest guy in like that section of the mafia, all of a sudden was put on notice after he had a heart attack and he got beat in a fight by, uh, I think it was uh, Bobby, uh, Bo Bobby, uh, Bo uh, Bobby Balakuba. And uh, it pretty much devolved into people not respecting him anymore and he had to prove himself so he beat up some kid to try and prove to everyone, you know, he's still he's still tough. He's still got the... It, it's, it's a bullshit pack mentality thing that I cannot stand because... If I, because, as much as I liked hanging around Miller, Froggy, and and Irish, I mean, Miller was a meathead. Miller was a meathead who just wanted to prove himself and just like prove how tough he was. I'm not gonna say he was like he was like punch me in the stomach, bro. I want to show you how tough I am. Punch me in the stomach, real hard. Do it. It that's meathead shit. I I don't like that. Uh, now, albeit, uh, this is a little bit unrelated, but I took a kick from Marcus because it was part of a wrestling thing. And he was, like, showing people, like, how he could deliver kicks and, like, take everything off of it. And that way it looked good, but yet you didn't feel anything. And I was just like, go ahead, go ahead, do it. And just like, boom. I'm like, wow, that actually was awesome, dude. That looked good and it didn't feel a thing. Because he's just that good at, like, throwing kicks. <clears throat> but, again, you know, Rick, Rick, 
always winds up alone in in certain. Ep- I remember the the one episode where he actually tried to kill himself. He, like he put the crystal in there, put his head between the little uh, the little thing, and was gonna disintegrate himself, and then he passed out from being too drunk. So his drunkenness in turn saved his life. I think at, at this point, you know, Rick is going with the flow on certain things, but he's just. He's too broken of a person to really be redeemed at this point. Though I'm thinking rehabilitate Phoenix person. Uh Uh-huh. And then next season finale, he and Phoenix person team up to fight Evil Morty. Evil Morty who has in turn kidnapped kidnapped, uh, the entire family. And... You know, or it's like a long con where it's like he's already killed the real Morty and he's impersonated Morty all season. Oh my! And then God. reveals himself. Dude, that'd be trippy as hell. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be wicked. That would be too much of it. I want to see. Uh, you know that you said that. I'd kind of like to see how they would write that. Damn. Ah, <sighs> gosh. Like he's too self-absorbed to notice that there's like a third like <laughs> burial mound in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course, I also have to wonder if Rick has that personality backup thing, you know, the, you know, the, the, the tanks where every time he, whenever he dies, right. Rick C-17 dies, his personality transfers into another Rick in another potential universe and tries its damnedest to get back to his original universe. I'm wondering if he has a contingency like that set up for Morty. Albeit probably not as elaborate, uh, but it, it probably is just like, oh, this Morty, uh, you know, he'll spawn in a in a vat that's on the Citadel. Why the Citadel? I, I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, also, the mind blowers thing there where it he pretty much gave Beth the choice and Beth was just like, you choose for me. Yeah. And she pretty much let, he pretty much let her have both. And... Honestly, I think if the family knew that, they'd probably the the his daughters would probably like Rick more. I don't know. I don't know. I think they would view it as he just literally didn't care. Yeah, he'll, because he'll, it was like choose whether or not you want me to stay or you want me to get out of your yeah, life. Yeah, he just but, absolved he absolved himself like, of the choice because he doesn't. Know. Like, I can't even pick either way because I just don't care. No. Like, I wouldn't so say that. I think he cared enough to where he wanted her to have both futures in some way. So, in turn, he let both of them live, and both of them have the idea. It came back to eventually bite him in the ass, because, you know... Because he put a bomb in the neck of one. Well, the thing is, we don't know 100% if that's a bomb. He he said it was one thing in one turn, and then he said it was a bomb in the other whenever they were under threat of, uh, you know, from Tammy and... Well, he said it was going to transfer the experiences and then blow up the clone. But we don't know that. I mean, it it probably would have done something else. I mean, until we get full clarification from Rick on what it would do. If it was going to do that, then, yeah, dick move. I mean, this is the guy that let his Morty basically disintegrate countless other Mortys just to get him to admit that his dumb vat of acid thing was a good idea. Oh, God. This is true. (laughs) This is true. I mean... If only you had a fake vat of acid, Morty. Like, oh, gosh. And then, of course, there's the whole thing with, uh... It's like, I'm acid-proof, bitch! Fuck Fuck all all of you! (laughs) That's my favorite line. That would not be the takeaway from all I'm acid-proof! Fuck all of you! (laughs) I'll never forget that Wasn't the first thing he did was, like, pull his pants down or something? Like, flash everybody? Yeah, said, fuck you to everybody and just ran down the street naked. It's like, dude... Jesus Christ. Calm it Even down. Even if you were acid proof, that's a very situationally useful trait to have. Yep. If, if, yeah. if at all useful. Like, I don't know why you would be like that stoked about it. I don't know. Just be like, huh, that's weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for this one. This, once again, was Rick and Morty, Season 4, Episode 10, the finale. Good lord, what a season. Uh a lot of a lot of ups in this season. A lot of ups. And uh got to say can't wait to see what they're going to pull off next. So, I guess that's going to do it. So until then, signing off. I'm Nate, Micah. I am Nick. We'll see you then everybody. Peace out. <laughs>